What's up guys, this is Ashish Tiwai here and you are watching Techno Tips Jquery tutorial. So this is part 8 of this video series. In this tutorial, I'll be discussing about documents and windows type events. So before proceeding with this video, you can watch my previous tutorial that is part 6 and part 7 of this video series. In part 6, I have just discussed about all type of mouse event and keyboard events. In part 7, I have discussed about all type of form events okay now it's time to discuss about the document and windows type events okay so here we have load resize scroll and unload so there is one more ready event which I already have covered in uh, part second okay so it occurs when document gets ready okay so I already have discussed this event okay and here I will not discuss this event because uh, the unload event has been deprecated uh, from 1.8 version of jQuery and has been removed uh, in the latest version of jQuery that is 3.3 onwards okay so let's get started with the load resize and scroll okay so here in the previous tutorial I have just covered all type of form events so let's have the view of it so here we have blur change focus and the submit type events and the select event okay now let's fulfill our today's objective so first I'll just remove this and just remove this also okay so inside this just bring an image okay so I'm just tracking banner dot PNG okay let's give an ID ID equal to image okay image one just copy that and here I'll just paste that image one here and dot load okay so this will not be working uh, because it has been deprecated so there is another way to load that so we have on event okay and inside that you can just pass this load okay I'll just remove this and we will just get an alert of alert of let's say height height colon equal to let's say plus dollar this dot height okay and then plus space we have width plus dollar this dot fit okay I just want to show this message or you can just cut it from here and just keep it in a variable say message equal to this and in this way also you can just do the same and alert message okay now save it and also to keep ourselves from the cache just pass dummy equal to anything Now let's refresh our page. 
see our document is ready and the image has been loaded so that's why we just got the height and width of that image okay so if you are worried about that so you can just also you can take an span here let's say span and in a span you can just append this height and width okay so we have a span dot text we have message okay and just update this dummy parameter and just reload this okay so the image has been loaded and we have just got the height and width of this image okay and in the second time also we will get the same result in the second time we have see the load event is not getting fire because the image is coming from the cache okay so just update this dummy parameter and refresh it okay so we have just got when the image is loaded then we just got the height and fit of this image okay once the image is loaded you can you can't perform let's see you you will not get in this height and width because the second time is image getting from the cache and we just need to remove this we just need to update this uh, uh, query query string so it's here we just reload this message and we just got the height and width of this image okay now let's come to the second uh, that is resize okay so res for the resizing or oh, we just this let's comment this image control kc control kc okay and I just want to put the height and width of that uh, when the windows get resized okay so dollar window dot resize is the method I'll just call a function okay so let's copy this message here copy and paste it here okay and dollar this means window dot this dot height and this dot width I'll just get the resized value okay let me refresh this page okay right now I don't have anything Let's see this one and I'm just resizing it okay that is not fire maybe it will work inside this document already control X Expect element something has happened. Internet has been disconnected. Okay. Let me check out dollar window dot resize the function I'm just calling this dollar this dot height and width oh sorry I'm not putting this dollar I just also need to paste it here let's copy paste it here span dot message let's refresh it okay 
and here you can see as soon as I'll resize this window I'll get the height and width of this okay see now check out the height and width width has been increased 921 and let's increase the height right now it's 289 now the height is updated okay so here you can see and when you make it greater so here you can see height equal to 662 and width is 366 okay again you can see the height and width will be updated every time when you resize your window okay so this is the window type event so this should work outside of this document already let me check whether it is working or not okay so I'm resizing okay so it's working okay so windows type event can work outside of this document already functions okay now the last one is the sun comment this now the last one is the scroll function okay so we have we just need to uh, call the scroll function here this call this event just write the scroll this event get fired when you scroll your document see so I'm just taking first I will just take example let's say height and width instead of height and width I'll just put a simple message like see scroll check okay and uncomment this image so that scroll will be enabled so windows dot scroll message this span the text will be let's reload this so here the document uh, this this first function is ready the the load function getting work so it's the load function is working right now okay and when I start scrolling see they scrolled the span get uh, the uh, the scroll even gets fired okay let me refresh this one again and when I start scrolling then see scroll when I resize my windows so here you can see I can get the height and width of this window okay and when I scroll this see the span has been updated okay so let me just explain with a, a different example so I'll just take a div element okay and inside this div element I'll just fix it height let's say I'll just give class here class equal to button class and let's say 200 pixels and width is 200 pixels okay and also I'm just taking style okay so overflow equal to scroll and just cut this image here and space to show okay now reload this so we have scrolling and here we have a span so a span dot append dot append so I'll just 
pin the this scroll message to this span when there is uh, when I just scroll that div okay so I'm just starting scrolling oh something happened see uh, sorry diff dot scroll so here I just need to write diff dot scroll okay so I'm just scrolling again not getting output why this is this diff diff dot scroll okay so diff uh, we are just accessing that div element so it should come into the document dot ready function okay now it should work let me check yeah so I'm just scrolling it see as soon as I scroll this see it's appending the scroll 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 or you can see if I just append PR here so you will see see if I scroll it scroll scroll okay so as soon as when I just start scrolling the event gets fired and appending the scroll text into the span tag okay so this is all about the document or windows event so remember when you access any div element or uh, any HTML document you are accessing then it should be present in the document ready function and when you are talking about the windows label like the windows resize so it sh it may or it may be inside of document or ready it will work and outside of that document or ready it it would not be affected by anything okay so i hope you understood this concept so thank you very much for watching and have a great day okay so please 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 share this video among your friend and if you like this video then give a thumbs up and do comment if you have any query and thank you very much see you